All right, hi, this is James with the OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we are going to show you how to wire a Ring doorbell. This is a Ring Pro doorbell. This will work with both the Ring Doorbell 2 or the Ring Pro doorbell, which is what we've got here. Oh, hi, Moose. You want to make an appearance in the video? So you don't need a dog to be able to wire a <laughs> smart doorbell, but uh, he wanted to say hi. So the most important thing that you're gonna to wanna to do before you get started with this is you need to turn the power off. We have got the power off, okay? But this wiring diagram here, this is the exact same setup that doorbell wires, how they're wired in your wall, in your house, okay? And that's very important. We've just demonstrated it here so it's easier for you to see. But what you've got is you've got a doorbell wire that goes from your doorbell transformer, which is right here from the transformer, to the trans terminal on your doorbell chime. And then you've got a wire that goes from your front transformer terminal on, or front terminal on the doorbell chime to your doorbell button, okay? And then from the button, you've got a wire that goes from the button back to the transformer. So what you've got here, you can see, is a full circuit. So transformer to doorbell chime from doorbell chime to the doorbell button from the doorbell button back to the transformer and the doorbell transformer some of you are going to need to replace those or get higher voltage we've got recommendations and links for what doorbell transformer you should use you want to use a 16 volt 30 va transformer they're available on amazon we'll have the link to that below we also will have a link to below to compatible chimes with the ring pro doorbell or the Ring 2 doorbell. What I recommend uh, for either of these smart doorbells is use a mechanical chime. They're going to work uh, better than most of the uh, tone chimes or electronic chimes. It's just simpler. It works easier. They're less expensive. That's what I'd recommend. But if you want an electronic chime, some people just like the different tones that you can have. You can certainly do that. Uh, click on the link below for uh, the chimes that work. We've got a post about that. So this is super easy. A lot of people think that installing a ring doorbell is going to be difficult. It's not. All you do is you remove your old doorbell from the wall wherever it's installed. Okay. It's like this. And you remove it over here. So we've got our two wires removed from the doorbell. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to wire it to the back of the Ring Pro here. So you just, you can use a screwdriver. I'm just using the drill driver because it's quicker. All right. And then we're gonna put this one on. Okay. Straighten out the wires. Sometimes you need to use uh, some pliers so that you can Curl the wire good around these uh, terminals on the back of the Ring Pro or the Ring Doorbell 2. Either either the Ring Pro or the Ring Tor Doorbell 2 is a, a good option. The difference between the two doorbells. Um, so there we go. We've got this wired up. And I'm going to go turn the power on. And you're going to see this light up. And this thing should be working. So give me one minute. I'm going to go turn on the power. Okay, we have got the power on, and that was unexpected. There we go. So now the doorbell is lighting up. Sometimes it takes a minute for that to get started. Um, there we go. The doorbell is now connected. You can see it's working. What it has is an internal battery in there. My dog does not like the doorbell, regardless if it's smart or not smart. I don't know. He doesn't like the people that deliver packages. Moose, come here. So we'll just uh, keep him right here. But uh, what happens is this has an internal battery in it. And when you connect it to the voltage, uh, it needs like a second or two for it to power up. 
If you have issues having it power up right away, there's this reset button right here on the side. Um, I recommend just pressing that for a couple seconds and sometimes that wakes the doorbell up. But that is how you wire a Ring Doorbell Pro or any Ring Doorbell, um, very simple. There is a power kit, okay, that you can install here, but a lot of people don't need that. If you get the 16 volt transformer that we recommend with the 30 VA, um, you usually have enough power for your doorbell, no big deal. So it looks like the doorbell is blinking. It's actually not. That's just, I guess, how the video equipment records this. But uh, overall, super easy to install the Ring Pro doorbell. Um, the difference between the Ring Pro and the Ring Doorbell 2 is the Ring Pro doorbell. That needs to be 100% hardwired. Uh, it's a smaller profile. I think it has a little bit better Wi-Fi connectivity and a little bit better video resolution, even though that the specifications say they're basically the same. Uh, video resolution between the Ring 2 and the Ring Pro. The Ring 2 doorbell, though, you can actually hardwire it just like we've got here, or it will work on battery power. It also needs less voltage. So if you want to install a doorbell and you have less voltage than 16 volts with your existing transformer, if you've got 10, then that Ring doorbell 2 can work off that voltage and it will charge the internal battery. The Ring doorbell 2 has... Uh, replaceable rechargeable batteries that will last up to six months with the doorbell if it's not wired at all completely wireless just battery power for the ring doorbell too if you have it wired with a 10 volt transformer that's enough that you don't need to recharge your batteries like ever so the Ring Doorbell 2 is a good option if you don't have any wiring or if you have a lower voltage transformer, only 10 volts coming out of it. The other good thing about the Ring 2 is that uh, you've got that flexibility to place it anywhere. You don't have to worry about where your existing doorbell wiring is. Now, the only thing I will say about the Ring Doorbell 2, when it's battery powered, I have seen slower response times than I have with the Ring doorbell pro so the ring doorbell pro is always recording it's saving the clips and on the ring doorbell 2 because it waits to record until motion is detected to save the battery sometimes the clip doesn't start until a little bit after somebody's already moved into the picture frame with this you get like pre-roll footage of how it's going to work so that is pretty much a summary between the ring doorbell pro and the ring doorbell 2 this is how to wire a smart doorbell. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, to this video, check out our website, onehoursmarthome.com. And always, we appreciate you for watching. Thank you very much. And hopefully this was able to help you. I'm gonna press the doorbell one more time. So hopefully Moose is okay with it, but just so you guys can see that this is working. And also you can see the tiny bit of delay that there is between the doorbell and doorbell chime. So it's probably about a second there. So that is how easy it is to install a Ring Doorbell Pro. And thank you and see you next time.